Now, this question asks us the factor which does not favor formation of oxyhemoglobin in the alveoli is a question from topic transport of gases and here we are talking about the oxyhemoglobin. So, here we are talking about the transport of oxygen and we need to find the factor which does not favor the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So, as we have already learnt that when we draw a graph between the partial pressure of oxygen and percent saturation of hemoglobin, we will get a normal sigmoid curve, but this curve can shift to right or left depending upon the presence or absence of various factors and the association of oxyhemoglobin is represented by left shift while the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin is represented by right shift. So, the formation of oxyhemoglobin is favored by high partial pressure of oxygen, the low partial pressure of carbon dioxide, low body temperature and less concentration of hydrogen ions as well as the less concentration of BPG or DPG that is bisphosphate glycerate while the exactly opposite factors are going to promote the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin. So, here we have four options high partial pressure of oxygen yes this is going to promote the binding of hemoglobin with oxygen right low partial pressure of carbon dioxide yes this is also true so when the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is low it is going to promote their binding right high temperature no this is wrong high temperature is going to promote the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin and then lesser hydrogen ion concentration yes this is again true lesser hydrogen ion concentration means the medium will become alkaline or you can say there will be the high pH right. So, this is also going to promote their binding. So, yes the correct answer to this question is option number 3 high temperature this is going to promote the dissociation of oxyhemoglobin. Let us move to our next question that is question number 84 and this is a question from the topic body fluids and circulation. So, histamine and serotonin secreting leukocytes which cause inflammation are. So, students we have already learned about the different types of leukocytes. There are two major types that is granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes are further of three types neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils while agranulocytes are of two types that is lymphocytes and monocytes. And yes, the cells of blood which act like the mast cells of connective tissue and secrete histamine, heparin and serotonin are basophils. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. But let us have a look at the other options too. So, first is neutrophils or you also call them polymorphonuclear leukocytes which are actually the phagocytes right. Then eosinophils these are mediators in allergic and inflammatory reactions. And the monocytes are again the phagocytes. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3 that is basophils. Now, let us see another question. So, here is question number 85 and this question asks us under normal physiological conditions the human heart rate is in the range of how many beats per minute. So, as you have already learnt that human heart is myogenic and the SA node which is actually a specialized nodal tissue which is auto excitable. It can generate the heartbeat or initiate the impulse without the involvement of brain. But 
yet brain is required and the chemical control is also required to regulate the heartbeat and its conduction. So, coming back to the beats per minute that are produced first option 70 to 75 per minute second 30 to 40 per minute third 40 to 50 per minute and 420 to 30 per minute so yes directly i am taking the answer that is option number one which is 70 to 75 per minute so yes the essay node it generates 70 to 75 beats per minute under the control of parasympathetic neural system which uses the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and remember one thing parasympathetic neural system is an inhibitory control for our heart so yes normally we are having that inhibitory regulation of parasympathetic neural system and the average heartbeat is 72 per minute now moving to the next question 